Yep. Good to see you, Scott. Thank and you. Um, Andrea, first of all, we've got you, and this is to do with the, the summer season. You've got, uh, what sort of dog have you got? Um, I've got a three-year-old Staffy. Staffy. Right, Staffy, okay. And how does the grass affect the Staffy? Um, well, basically, if he goes into the grass, he comes out all under his undercarriage with like a, a, a red raised rash. Mm -hmm. um, it looks quite sore. It's all, all across his, um, his legs, his hind legs and, and everywhere, really. And does he scratch at it? Does it bother him? Yes, yeah, okay. he does. He tries to scratch at it. I know yeah. you've got a number of issues. Let's start with that one, first of all. Can I start off? What's the dog's name? It's always important. Charlie. Yeah. Charlie. Charlie. Okay. Charlie. Um, do you find with Charlie that it happens seasonally, like at certain times of the year? Um, mostly the summer, uh, though uh, he did actually have it in the winter. We managed to take him around a, long, um, a field with long grass, and unfortunately the next day he, he did appear with this rash again. So right. yeah. we, he has it a couple of times. OK, well, it's a fairly classic symptom of just having uh, an allergy to grasses, so pollinating plants. Uh, it's just the same as us. If you go for a walk in the, uh, in the, in the fields uh, with bare legs, I'm sure you get your legs out uh, on a walk, do you? But, don't ticks. You ticks. T you have issues yeah. with ticks, do you? Ticks, yeah. And I'm, I'm petrified of ticks. No, I, right. I, I wouldn't do So short... you cover the legs up? Yeah, yeah, in okay. the grass. Yeah, All right, yeah, well, yeah. Um, what you want to do with your dog is just, after you've gone for a walk, is just wipe them down with a yeah. damp cloth just to lift some of those allergens away mm. um, because a lot of dogs are allergic to grass. And then if it's really bad, then you can speak to your vet and use things like antihistamines. There's a lot of new drugs that have come on the market that can help to dampen the allergic reaction that your dog is yeah. suffering. But as you um, say, that can apply to people as well terms of hay fever and whether Absolutely. we should shower down after yeah. that. Now, Andrea, um, there's another um, sort of distasteful item we're going to talk about now. <laughs> lot, lots of dogs are dogs have of, this. Matter of fact, I'm sure people have this as well. But, <laughs> well, they um, don't. But, we're now, um, we're now no, going to don't. talk about, Andrea, uh, poor Charlie's <laughs> anal glands, right? Now, uh, how, yes. how often do they need milk? Oh, oh Eamon, you are so well, naughty. <laughs> what are they called? What, what do you do to them? What do you do to them? Yeah. It's well, awful, isn't it? I don't think I've ever <laughs> milked an anal gland before. <laughs> you squeeze them, don't you? Well, you, 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 you do, yeah. Right. Explain, just explain to us, Scott. Right. I know, because my dog, our dog suffered this, but why yeah. do they anal glands get swollen. Right. I'm sorry, the milk. Um, <laughs> so basically, um, they are two glands at four and eight o'clock and they discharge a substance which helps for dogs to mark territory. In the case of Charlie, my guess is that you might be feeding him a few different things which are meaning that he has occasional soft poos. Is that true? Yes, it does happen sometimes, yeah. yeah. What happens is, is a nice, stodgy, sturdy morning um, constitutional will lead to emptying naturally of the anal gland. So if you have softer poos from time to time, they build up and they're very poorly designed glands and they actually um, occlude their own duct when they get so large mm. and they just become uncomfortable like piles. Mm. Uh, and that's when your vet, like me, lucky, uh, <laughs> has to empty them for you. So if you start reducing the uh, treats you're giving to Charlie, getting more stodgy poos, you'll probably find the anal glands empty on their own and then the vets around the country will breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, Andrew, we had that with our dog and we had to just put more fibre in her that's food it. and we got yep. something from the vet, I just sprinkle into her, mm -hmm. her food and, and she's been okay since then. Andrew, well, thank good you. Good luck to you and good Good luck to Charlie, Andrea. Yeah. Thank you. Summer not suiting Charlie.